Hello, I'm Uncle Longbeard and welcome in another video. This time I will be talking about the best retro bikes which you can buy in 2021. We've got actually four brands which are making really really good bikes. Moto Guzzi, V7 and V9 eventually, but V7 mostly. Um, we've got Kawasaki W800, We've got Triumph, obviously, with T100 and T120, and we've got Royal Enfield. And I decided to only talk about the bikes which are motorway capable. So, never mind those bikes and let's focus on the bikes which I actually got on the list. Let's start with T120. T120 is a brilliant bike, but uh, since now it's got some issues with the gearbox, maybe, potentially, a bit of a risk. And it's also a more complicated bike because it's water-cooled, so it's not quite retro as it looks, but it looks brilliant and it's got a lot of power and it's absolutely fantastic bike. So I really, really love it, but it's got some problems. Well, and you've got also T100. Bit less power, but it's slightly lighter, probably more nimble, but Actually, in 2021, it's uh, not as shiny as it was. There is um, the Triumph actually changed that bike, and uh, there is uh, more black parts on it, and it's not the same bike visually as T120. So let's go to another bike, and another bike is Kawasaki W800, and obviously I'm the owner of one, so I can say it's a brilliant bike. Go and buy Kawasaki W800. Unfortunately, uh, with a new 2021 bike, also 2020, doesn't matter, with a new version of W800, uh, there is a problem, because the tank is bulky and big. It's bigger than in the older model, and it also got uh, the rear disc brake, which looks nasty. And honestly, the bikes overall looks good, but when it comes to Kawasaki W800, I would actually prefer the older model. It looks more authentic and it is more authentic than the newer one. The newer one still looks good, it's still uh, more authentic than Triumph, but I wouldn't choose that one. So let's go to another bike and the next one is Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. And that's a brilliant bike, it's cheap, it's good, it's good looking. I really like that bike. But reliability question there. Will it be reliable? I'm not saying now, but after 30,000 miles, after 50,000 miles, will it still be reliable? Knowing the older Royal Enfields, it's not so sure. I've got Royal Enfield, I had one before, now I've got another one, and I can say it's not reliable. I mean, Bullet 500, it's not reliable. Not at all. So the new one, it looks better, it looks like improved quality, but will it be reliable? Only time will tell. So let's just jump to another bike in, on my list. And the next one, it's the Moto Guzzi V7. And about V7, I was talking in a separate film, so I will give you the link up there, there or there, never mind. <laughs> uh, there is a link, uh, basically. And we've got two versions of that bike. New 850 um, with a stepped seat, which I hate. It, it doesn't look good. No. And the old one, uh, the 750. And talking about Moto Guzzi V7 750, is, it's a brilliant bike and I can't say anything bad about it. I just prefer my Kawasaki W800. I think it's a better looking bike, but other than that, I think from that selection in 2021, I think I would choose that one. But I've got also another bike on the list, and that bike is absolutely gorgeous. It looks absolutely great, but it's got some issues. And it's the Honda CB1100 EX. And it's absolutely gorgeous bike, reliable, fantastic, except it's got four cylinders. I hate that. 
Uh, I think that the proper bike has got one or eventually two cylinders, not four. No, it's not a car. But anyway, still gorgeous bike. Uh, but also another problem with that bike is too heavy. The weight of that bike is 250 or 60 kilograms. So it's 30 or 40 kilograms more than the rest of the bikes. So mm, for a long trips, straight roads, maybe. But yeah, but it's up to you. The last thing is when you want to buy a brand new retro bike, there is a really great selection of barely used bikes. And I mean the bikes which covered like 2000 miles, 3000 miles, and there is plenty of bikes like that. So you can buy, you know, barely run in Kawasaki W800, Triumphs, and all the other bikes except Royal Enfield. But all the other bikes, yeah, check them on because they are absolutely fantastic. And I think that the older bikes looked better. For sure, Triumph T100 looked better in the previous years. Kawasaki W800, the older one rules. The new one is good, but I prefer the older one. Then Royal Enfield, there is no choice because it's a fresh bike. And the Honda, yeah, you can buy the older one. And that's a good bike as well. So that's all about that. But then I've made a list of the bikes which are really modern and not so retro. And they are really interesting and you might find them interesting as well. So first of all, there is the BMW R9 T and it's really cool bike, interesting looking, uh, pretty modern, but it's got some retro touch on it and I like it. Uh, for me though, it's a bit too modern. It's really powerful, so it's really good bike if you like that look. Another one is the Kawasaki Z900 RS. Another brilliant bike, but I think the same applies as for Honda, four cylinders. Mm, not for me. But if you like four cylinders, it's really good bike. I also don't like that the uh, back of the bike, the ass is like that, you know, so there is a gap between the wheel and the seat. Uh, so because of that, I prefer the look of the Honda CB1100 EX. Let's go to another one, uh, Yamaha XSR. I don't like this bike. People are saying it's retro. I don't see that retro thing in it. I think it's just a modern bike. So let's exclude it. Let's go to another one. Ducati Scrambler. And that's a fantastic bike. I really like it. It's modern, but not as modern uh, as BMW R90. So it's a mixed bag, but it's really cool bike and it's nimble. It's powerful and it's lightweight. So the power to weight ratio is really great on that bike. And I really like that bike. But there is a huge but in it and that's the servicing price the timing belts on that bike and the valve adjustment oh my god <laughs> i don't even want to think about that servicing interval is not that bad 12,000 miles or something like that but the price for replacing the belts and adjusting the valves i think is like 800 pounds not for me sorry sorry ducati I won't buy Scrambler. So the last bike on my list, and that's potentially really cool bike. It's still not there, but maybe it will be. It's a Norton Atlas 650. And that's absolutely fantastic bike on the paper. I think 160 something kilograms or 170 kilograms. 85 horsepower with a modern engine, high revving engine, but still a twin, potentially brilliant bike. It looks gorgeous, looks retro, but still modern, or looks modern, but still retro. It's got unique styling and I really, really like it, but I'm really glad I didn't pay deposit on that. But I'm waiting for that bike and if it will come to the market, I will look carefully into that because it could be really awesome bike. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, me reading from the 
paper. <laughs> and if you did, give me thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. And if you really, really, really enjoyed, you can buy me a beer and the link is down there in the description. And if you've got any other bikes you can think of, or if you want to tell me that I'm an idiot, just feel free and do that in the comments. Thanks for watching. Cheers.